Hi, it's me Josephine and today I'm explaining you some ways how you can measure the feet of your kid and also the shoes to avoid any harm and make sure that the size is really correct. Because kids often tell us that their shoes would fit even though they don't because they just don't know it better. And of course we all want for our kids the best and we want them to wear good shoes and grow up healthy. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with a shoe. How to measure the kid's shoe. Some people, I've seen them measuring the shoe from outside. And I also saw people when they had the kid's foot in the shoe and trying to figure out where the toe is. All of these are very old school ways to measure and they don't actually really work. And if you're measuring this way, then you really don't know, is there really enough space for the child's foot and is it really the way it's supposed to be? The outside is way bigger than the inside and it can be so different depending on what kind of shoe you're having in your hand. So this shoe has a completely different outside size as our other shoes, what my daughter is wearing, and still they're inside all the same. So what can you do? One thing I really, really love is the plus 12. That's this. With this, you can easily measure the insole by going here inside and moving this to the front like this i have it now here up on the biggest spot the height they are the long longest spot and i have it on the back i make sure that i don't push it too far to the heel even though i do push it well to the heel because of the shape of that shoe i don't know if you see that but i have looked at my daughter's foot and her heel and how it's shaped and if I would push it too far in that direction, then it would push her here inside of her foot and it would hurt her. So it is very important to look how is your kid's foot shaped if you're measuring the shoes for your child. And now I am able on this side to read in the UK size plus in millimeters the size and on the other side the UK size plus inches. And this is really very, very helpful i show you here how this works. You just push it and it gets longer and longer. I also measure my shoes with that or the shoes of my husband. It is really easy. I love also to take it with me if I go and look for new shoes for us because it's just often faster than to take off all the things of my daughter and I can do this still if I'm sure that the size could possibly fit. And it is also less complicated if I just let her look around in the store while I look at the shoes and it is really making my life way way better and way easier. <laughs> it is also important that you are measuring the width. There are different ways to do that. You also have of course different ways than this to measure. You can get the insole out then it's pretty easy to measure the width and the length this shoe does not have an insole, but there are different ways what you can do then if you don't have that plus 12. So if you're interested in this plus 12, this is made in Germany. I bought it on Amazon. I am in the US and you will also find it on kidsfeed.info. So to measure the kid's foot, I let my daughter stand straight. I make sure she's not laying down. I make sure she's really actually standing on her foot. Because if you are laying, the size, the length of the foot is different than if you're standing on the foot. It is also different. Are you measuring in the morning or are you measuring in the evening? So I make sure usually that I measure in the evening. Usually in the evening, her foot is longer. So it's the best if you just measure in the evening because we are getting heavier during the day and our feet get longer and then they kind of 
I showed her in the morning again. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you. So I make sure I measure both feet left and right. Feet can have different lengths. So it is very important to measure them really both. I measure the length, I measure the width. When I measure the length, I make sure that I'm going from the longest spot to the, yeah, to the other longest spot. So this is kind of here in the middle and here the big toe. And this is what I'm measuring. That is also what I'm measuring with this inside of the shoe. I go the same way. I also measure the width. Also again, from the widest spots, that would be like here. And then if you really don't have this, what you can do is you can cut that shape out and use that. But it's very, very important that you do not forget that there must be space to wiggle the toes. Otherwise, your child is wearing a too small shoe again. And to do that, there are different ways. Of course, you can just add a little more space and cut it out with that. And you can also just go inside of that shoe if, if that is possible, because sometimes in boots it's not possible, with those it's possible, and just feel, oh, okay, there's some space, mm, it's not enough. And so how much space should there be? It is in millimeters, it, not in millimeters, in centimeters, it is between one centimeter to 1.5. It depends also on the child. Some kids already slip with that then you should take it smaller. But of course, we try also to avoid to constantly buy new shoes because the feet of a child grow every single month a little bit. And that's why I recommend to try it. If it works for you, then go with 1 to 1.5 centimeters. That is around a half inch, I would say. The 1.5 or a little bit less. If this does not work, then there is no other way for you than to just get it smaller, but to make sure that there's really still some space to wiggle the toes. And then you just have to sadly buy more shoes. Really bigger is not so good because your child can also slip and it is also bad for the feet because for the child it is not so easy to run and to climb and to do all of those movements outside what are so important for a healthy development. So that is why you are trying to figure out how much taller can the shoe be and where do you have to step and when do you really have to change the shoe. Usually you really see it when your child is, is falling constantly and has issues to walk, then there is something wrong with the shoe. But sometimes you also have to make sure that your child is not doing this inside with a toe. Some kids do that. That is not what the foot is supposed to do when you're walking to be like this. Um, it could grow in a very unhealthy way. Okay, so... Another very important thing, they're not just this measurement and this measurement when you measure a kid's foot. There's also the height. The feet can be different high. And you also have to look for that. This can be very different from foot to foot. And for this, I don't really see a different way than to just try the shoe on. And if you have a store around your area where you can go and really actually try on shoes, that is awesome. If not, then I highly recommend to go if you want to have specific shoes into a group like I do it with my barefoot shoes where I can talk to other mothers and I can ask them, hey, do you, does anybody have that shoe? Does anybody know? Does this work with feet that are a little higher or with feet that are flatter? Or, and with that, it helps me a lot and I do not have to return so much because, of course, I'm trying to avoid returns as much as possible because of the environment. And with this shoe, I was very lucky. I got this use. I could ask her everything. And her child seems to have a very similar shape of foot as my daughter. That was very, very helpful. So like you have seen now, I am all about barefoot shoes. Everybody here is wearing barefoot shoes. We love barefoot shoes. And if you're interested to know why we wear barefoot shoes and what kind of barefoot shoes we wear, then just let me know this in the comments down below and I will tell you in another video about that. This one here is from the brand Affenzahn. It's a German brand, what means monkey tooth. <laughs> and we really love those shoes. They have experience so much with us and they still look like new and like i said i bought them used and they do not even look like they were really worn before because 
there is so much of the soul left. It is just awesome. Okay, and if you have any ideas how to measure a shoe or how to measure a kid's foot what is different to mine, then please let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure this could be very helpful for other parents too. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I see you in my next video. Goodbye, have a beautiful time!